If you look at the high performers of any industry, they're the ones who earn the most, they're the ones who have the most influence, they're the ones who have the most impact, they're the ones who seem to be most happy. And it's not, again, it's, there's a difference between just a type A driven person and a high performer. A high performer is driven by passion, so they love what they're doing, they're excited and engaged by it. They're driven completely by excellence and doing great, and they're driven by service, making a greater difference in the world. So high performance is about how do you really get to that level in which your life really sustains you with as much energy and much accomplishment as you've always wanted. How do you get stuff done? Because ultimately, high performers are always people who accomplish a lot. How do they do it though? You know, is it that they have the right teams in place? Is it that they have the right system? Do they have a great little leather day planner? <laughs> you know, what is it that makes a high performer productive? And I've talked previously about, you know, productivity is really about focusing. It's about getting rid of distractions and focusing in a way in which you can accomplish what you need to accomplish. So there's a piece of productivity that starts with clarity, which we talk a lot about at High Performance Academy. But for this video series, I just wanna give you one sort of technique that you can use to hopefully get more productive throughout your day. Because the reason so many people aren't productive throughout the day is not only because they don't have their purpose and their psychology and their physiology supporting them, but also because they're going through the day in an ignorant way. You know, they're going through the day focused solely on responding to everybody else's emergencies. You know, here's what most people do. They wake up, they get ready for the day, they go, through the, they go to work, they're not really thinking about anything yet, they're just kind of going through the motions. They get to work, and what do they do? They open up their email inbox, which is the worst thing you could ever do to be productive. Your inbox is a nice organizing system of other people's agendas. That's what an inbox really is. It's a nice organizing system. Of other, every email in there is someone needing something from you or pulling from you. That's what most of them are, isn't it true? And so what most people do is they open up their inbox and they start responding to other people's emergencies. Or they start, they start looking through all their emails to see, well, what am I supposed to do today? Or what's the biggest fire I have to fight today? In other words, they're living their life in reaction versus living their life in intention, in intelligence, in direction. They're not focused on what to do throughout the day. They're just saying, well, I'll do this because that's what popped up today. You know, so for personally, I never even check email until 10 a.m. When I get up and I'm looking at everything, I sit down and I strategize my day before I ever even think about checking my email. And then I might only check my email once or twice a day because I've set up all other systems to support my ability to be productive. Because in your life, I'm guessing that you're only really making money if you're producing. And in my, my industry, I live in the experts industry. That's the sort of the self-help, spirituality, business growth world where we offer advice to other people about how they can improve their life or build their business. That's the expert industry. In the expert industry, most people are really struggling to be productive because we're creatives, right? We have so many great ideas and so many great intentions throughout the day and we have so many ideas we can never actually accomplish them. Maybe you're the same. Maybe at base, you're really a creator and you have all these ideas of so many things you wanna do, but you've never really been able to organize them and get them done because you haven't set up systems to support your levels of productivity. We're gonna, at High Performance Academy, I'm gonna help you become the most productive person that you know, period. People who attend this program walk away and they make their dreams come true, not in decades, but in months or years because they finally figured out how to get organized and become productive. And it is a system, it is an intelligent way to go about it. Today I just wanna give you a very simple tool because it's a short video about what you could do to be more productive. So let's start with the beginning of your day. Uh, I'm gonna just jump into one little thing that I do at the beginning of the day. It's not the very beginning, but I think it will help you. And it's a way of organizing my day. And I call this one page productivity. It's just a simple sheet of paper that I have that I fill in when the morning, after I've gone out and I've exercised, that's a piece of my morning activity is mastering my physiology so I can become a high performer, starts with me drinking lots of water in the morning, eating the right things, going for a little quick run or workout or even just a brisk walk to energize my body and my mind so that I can be creative and think. And when I get back to my office and it's time to actually work, I do this one page productivity sheet. And this one page productivity sheet helps me really think through what I need to do throughout the day. So here's the three elements of this. And by the way, below this video, you can download this sheet and you can use it on your daily life. Let me walk you through how to use it. Basically, there's three elements of the one page productivity. The first element is major projects. 
these major projects usually, if you, any given person probably has, oh, I don't know, you know, like three big buckets of projects that they're working on. So I might be working on, you know, writing a new book. I might be working on doing a new seminar. I might be working on, you know, reinvigorating my online marketing. Those are big, big, these are big bucket projects that aren't necessarily, they're not the priorities for the day. These are the big vision. These connect me to the, what are the big things I'm doing? And any given person, if they're well organized, they're probably only working on three, maybe five main projects. So what I want you to do when you start out in the morning and to keep you big, thinking big and thinking outside of just the day to focus is, you know, in and, and, and the High Performance Academy, we've already talked about purpose, so we're already engaged there, okay? This is just a little snippet. I want you to think about the big picture of your projects. And I want you to think about what are the five things that you would have to do to move these projects forward. This is not five things that you need to move them forward today. That's your priorities. Your projects are just in general, what are the big things that you need to do? The big five things that you would have to do. So for example, if online marketing is one of my big projects in reinvigorate, one of the things I might have to do is learn to code a web page, right? Or learn to design a web page. Now that's a project. It doesn't mean that today I'm gonna learn how to do it. It just means in general, that's one of the things I will have to do. So these are, what are the five big things that you would have to do to actually make that project come into fruition? What would you have to learn? What would you have to go out and master? What would you have to, who would you have to contact? What are the things you would have to do for your big projects? Next is people category. In this people category, I want you to think of two things in the people category. The people category is really important for high performers because high performers really get ahead, not just because of who they know, but how they're engaging who they know, right? What they're asking for, what they're doing. So the people category that I want you to think of each morning on this one page productivity is two categories. One, I want you to sit down and think of who do you need to reach out to today? Who do you need to reach out to? So if I want to learn coding as an example in general, I might want to schedule some time with a coder or a web designer. So I'm like, I'm gonna to have to reach out to a coder or a web designer today. And this is important because most people, when they open up their inbox, they just start replying to all these things. When I open my inbox, the first thing I do is I send out these emails. People I need to reach out to. It's the first thing that I do when I open my inbox as an example. Very first thing is send out all the emails that people I need to reach out to. The second category here, is the people that you are waiting on, right? Given any person's real schedule, you're waiting on somebody to give you some information or a decision to move forward in your day. Isn't it true? You're waiting on something from somebody so that you can move forward. And most people, they just sit there and they wait for the email to pop up. They, they hope that it's gonna come. They don't do anything about it. The second thing I do when I open my inbox after I reach out to the people, I reach out to the people who I'm waiting on and I say something specific to them. So uh, let me give you an example of how this actually might operationalize in the day. When I open my inbox, I'll look in my emails for these people first and foremost. It's the first thing I'll do after I send out the ones I need to reach out to strategically. I'll say, who am I waiting on? I'll look at and I'll open up their inbox or open up their email to see if I got what I needed. If I didn't, I send an email right back to them to make sure I get what I need as fast as possible. So yes, there's an element of you hounding people to become productive. You know, most people are just sitting around waiting for other people to help their dreams come true. For me, I'm chasing people down, right? You know, I wanna, for high performers, there's a level of impatience there. You know, if you wanna become a high performer, you gotta have this level of impatience that says, I need to accomplish this, I need to do this, let's go, let's go, let's go. You need to be on a faster path in life. Not stressed out more but more focused on achieving what you need to do to become happy, to become successful, not just because someday that's gonna happen for you, but in the moment, in the moment, being happy and successful so that you can be happy and successful. I hope that makes sense. Ultimately, that's the people category. Then, the next category is the priority category, okay? Your priority category is what are the 10 things that you've got to accomplish today. These are the 10 must-do items. This is sort of like your to-do list, but it's ranked in order of most importance. It's very simple, right? Because 
To-do lists are great. I'm all for them. I'm all, I'm all for day planners because it helps you achieve some of these things. But at the end of the day, you got to think about, okay, what are my real priorities today? And here's what I'll often do, depending on how big these are and how important they are. When I get to my, when I've written all these out, here's how my day works. Here's my, the order of things that I'll achieve throughout the day. First, I'll do whatever it takes to achieve these priorities. Whether it is sending an email or whether it is you know, running an errand or whether it's calling somebody, these priorities in my day happen first. Often before I even open my inbox, or if I have to open my inbox, I'll wait, but priorities first, accomplish these first. No matter what, these get done first. Before I respond to anybody else's emergency or go through all of my inbox, these first. Then I move up. Second, I'll go, okay, who am I waiting on and who do I need to reach out to? The people category. I'll do that. Now often this will take most of the entire day. And then I'll say if there's any given time left in the day, I'll focus back on the bigger projects, thinking about what it's gonna to take to accomplish them. So that's the one page productivity plan for high performers. I know it's super simple. I've made it as straightforward as possible. You can actually download my one page productivity. It looks a little prettier than this, but you get the idea. You can download it, it's right below the video. And I think it will help you if you just go throughout your day, focus on this. I only check my email twice a day. Why? Because I have to create stuff, I have to do stuff. You have an important life. Don't get stuck in the tiny little emergency of other people. And by the way, one other element about productivity is learning what a real deadline is. You know, everybody is reaching out to you with all these emergencies. I need this from you, I need that from you. You need to learn what a real deadline is. Here's what I do in my life. When someone sends me an emergency email, I need this, I need this, I need this, I will write back to them and say, hey, I have your request here. I've got lots of other requests throughout the day too. Please let me know when is the absolute drop deadline, real deadline for this. Not when would you like it, when do you truly need it, the last moment. When is it do you actually need this? Please give me a real deadline, not a want deadline, a real deadline. Thanks, Brendan. Why do I do that? Because everyone thinks they need something right now and everyone's trying to grab from you. And what ends up happening when you're trying to be productive and everyone's trying to grab from you, all your energy is dispersed. High performers have this ability to zone down, get focused, be present. Watch those guys, the best in the world on the golf course or on the basketball court or on the tennis court. Watch the highest performing sports stars in the world from race car drivers to horseback riding to arrow shooting. No matter what it is, Olympians, they all have this ability to be super focused. You have to learn to do that in your day, even though we're not on the courts, even though we're not the highest performing sports athlete. In our business, we have to have that same ability to focus and get present. And you can't do that if you're allowing everybody else to pull from you. So what you have to do is set up a system in which you have real deadlines and real projects, people, and priorities that you are focused on throughout the day to achieve higher levels of performance. If you wanna see an awesome clip of a young Tony Robbins, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. All you have to do to persuade someone is do two simple things. One, you have to identify, and ideally, the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna identify the buying state. 